Hey, what's going on guys? It's CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Latte Panda, the Windows 10 single board computer, and I wanted to show you some retro arch running. Now I am using a wired Xbox 360 controller because all of the controllers I have will not connect to the Bluetooth on this unit. I did order two controllers. Hopefully we can get one working by the end of the week, but for now I'll be using the wired 360 controller, which works perfectly fine. So I've only downloaded a few box art packs. It takes a while to download, extract, and install, so I just did two for this tutorial. We have the Virtual Boy box art and the Genesis box art. All of these emulators run very, very well on this unit. Now I have yet to test PSP. I will be testing that later on today and making a video. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using RetroArch for the PSP emulator or the standalone PPSSPP emulator on the desktop. We'll see how it goes by the end of the day, but I'll have something uploaded tonight. First one I want to test out is the PC Engine, otherwise known as TurboGrafx-16. We're going to try Splatterhouse here. And I'll just press start. My controller is pre-set up. And, um, yeah, this runs really, really well on this little computer. The Latte Panda has an Atom X5 8300 CPU clocked in at 1.6 GHz, 2 GB of DDR3 RAM, 32 GB onboard storage, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, USB 3.0, USB 2.0. The board is packed jam with features, and it runs Windows 10 out of the box. And uh, I have been able to get Android to run on it, but only from a USB stick. I haven't flashed the internal memory just yet. I still have testing to do with Windows until I start doing that. But I am very, very happy with the little board. It is, it's, it's 80 bucks for the one I got. They do make a version with four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabyte of storage but I'm broke so I had to get the lower end model. It works perfectly fine for my needs. And RetroArch seems to run amazing on this unit. Now I've tested a bunch of these old school emulators and everything runs flawlessly for me. So I'll back out of here and I have it set up to press my joysticks in and it'll back us out to the RetroArch front end. So I am running all of my games from an external USB 2.0 Western Digital hard drive and it's plugged into the USB 3.0 port on the Latte Panda. And I've been running a lot of these older emulators with no trouble at all. I would love to show you guys some Mario and actually turn the sound on, but my videos get flagged because I don't have permission from Nintendo to be showing you this. So I'll be showing you Vertical Force. This is one of the best games for the Virtual Boy, in my opinion. I love this game. runs very well. I've tested a few more games and you're probably not going to have any trouble at all playing these Virtual Boy games on the Latte Panda. I've tested three games and all of them run perfect. So should have stayed down there. Yeah, so we have really good full speed emulation with the Virtual Boy. I'll back out of here. I'll do one more and that'll be 
Genesis, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Hyperstone Heist. So if you guys want to see any more games running within the RetroArch emulator on this Latte Panda, just let me know. Um, any system really. Like I said, I'll be testing PSP later on. I did test the N64 emulator, and it doesn't run very well within RetroArch. But I downloaded Project 64 in a previous video, and it runs most games at full speed. come out of this one. So yeah, I really do like this Latte Panda. You're going to be able to play most games at full speed, anything under the Dreamcast within RetroArch. Now, um, there are a few games that may lag a little bit, but I haven't had that trouble within RetroArch yet. But I haven't used any of the higher-end consoles on here. So Neo Geo Pocket, FBA, MAME, Virtual Boy, SNES, NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, PC Engine, MSX, all of these run fantastically on the Latte Panda. So that's it for now, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any requests at all of anything running on the Latte Panda, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my hardest to get it up and running. Make a video as soon as I can. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe because it really helps me out. It really motivates me to make more videos. And like always, thanks for watching.